Yo, what's good producers? It's your Mikasa again here. In this video, I'm about to like, uh, walk you through the quick tutorial about like uh, filters, let's call it like that, for the uh, 8 bits. Uh, let's get started. As you can see, I'm just going to drag some loops. Oh, already, these loops, sorry, are combined with some effects. But I'm about to show you like how you can like also like make some dope loops. And like uh, if you don't have any effects, you can use like uh, some EQ tips and tricks that you can make some fire dope loops. Let's for example use this one. And let's go. Let's fit the BPM 129. Normalize it. Let's hear it. Okay, I think you sh uh, can see in my previous tutorial that I talked about is like at the first EQ the uh, the melody. See what's wrong. Like if there's like a too much frequencies, let's cut it. You can see the big peak here, so I'm about to do this. I'm about to cut these middle frequencies here. So as you can see, I'm just cutting the frequencies that I think are bad. You can see it visually here, and you can test your ears to like a notice by your by like a by your ears that there's something wrong. Now I'm about to add additional EQ, and why I can make like how you can make like an underwater effect. It's very simple. All you have to do is like just use this uh, high frequency here, uh, 0.7, and just do this. Turn cut all high frequencies, and then we got this. Maybe you can like even push more, but this is what happens when you only put this one. And if, for example, put this knob here or something like that, simple as that. Like we made like a just one loop, a kind of water effect. Or if you want like a, to make something like a like sound like old, you just do this like a, just like a maybe cut the lower frequencies and the higher frequencies, and we got this. If I cut a little bit everything basically here, you can see the difference. So this is also a very cool, very useful trick. Also make sure you'll always use, test these presets here. For example, radio, old telephone. As you can see, all these things can be done with the EQ. Also, you can use like a, this for example, uh, 40. And then like I could just cut this like this now you can get you get that more like underwater effect i think there's like a a few underwater effects uh for fl studio like why we do buy uh, buy them because you can do everything in eq right so you can do this simple as that so always like how you can add eqs to like make your like a lobes fire for example you can use one sound by cutting a lot of frequencies here and then you can add additional sound like a, to fill your uh, loop and make it maybe sound better that's it guys thank you guys for watching i'm going to see you in the next video bye bye